um, I think we had a good election campaign in East Belfast. It was a fair and a clean election campaign. And I want to thank the other candidates for that. We have a job to do at the end of the election, which is about us working together to make East Belfast a better place for everyone who lives there. That has to be the focus from now on. The election is over and the hard work starts here. And I look forward to working with all of the candidates to try and make that a reality. Uh, we all go way back, some of us further back than others. Is that right, Juan? Um, <laughs> we all go way back and we will work together and we will try to deliver for the people who elected us. Before I finish all my thank yous, it would be remiss of me not to say thank you to Michael. Um, Michael has always been um, my rock. Um, behind every good politician, there's probably a better politician pushing them on. And I think that's the case in the Long household. I just want to say thank you to him. He, he did not falter despite all of the things that were going on during this campaign. I don't know how I could do it without him. Um, and I just want to say thank you to him because he is an incredible person um, and a selfless one. Um, and I just want to say so, so much thanks and so much of this success is owed to you. So thank you for that. Um, finally, you'll be glad to hear before it gets any more emotional. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to the Deputy Returning Officer, to our staff, um, to the press and to the members uh, and to the people who run the facility. Um, it has been an often hot um, and sweaty affair in this, uh, in this facility over the last few days, um, but everybody has done their best to take care of us as best they can. Um, and I think that with all the hot air that gets talked in politics, it's, it's right that we should sweat it out at election times. So thank you to everyone um, for the count. Thank you to the way it has progressed um, so smoothly. Um, and thank you to everyone who has contributed to it. And last and of course not least, thank you to the people of East Belfast. I owe you a huge debt of gratitude. You've put your trust in me yet again and I will not let you down.